See, I have what doctors call problems. <laughs> I got a bunch of them. I got in a fight today with the voices in my head because they owe me money. <laughs> And I know they're home. I can hear them giggling when I knock on the door. And I ran out of pills this morning, so now I don't have any self-esteem. No self-esteem. That's why I couldn't go to prison. You need self-esteem in prison. You do. If I was in prison taking a shower, drop the soap, and nothing happened, I would be a little offended. About it. You can't find a date in prison. I think you're out of options. <laughs> I've been trying to get better. I bought a bunch of self help books and I've been working on them and I found out my cell phone help. <laughs> These problems started when I found out my girlfriend was cheating on me with my imaginary friend. <laughs> and I know they got more in common because he's imaginary and she's invisible. <laughs> They should have told me. They should have. They should have. Especially when we had a threesome and I didn't know it. I'm liking y'all. I haven't been in front of a group like this in a fancy restaurant since my intervention. These spotlights make me nervous, though. They do. They remind me of that night I got abducted at the dollar store. That was a weird Easter. 